This video will go over the Human Immunodeficiency Virus, or HIV. It was produced by Emmett Frawley, Claude Lawler and Michelle McIntyre. HIV is a lentivirus, which is a subgroup of retrovirus. It attacks T cells and leaves the body less able to fight infection. The first reported case of HIV occurred in Kinshasa, which lies in the Democratic Republic of Congo. It was theorized that HIV spread to humans after a human came into contact with infected chimpanzee blood. And in 1999, this theory was found to be true. It was found that the simian immunodeficiency virus found in chimpanzees was transmitted to humans and had mutated. In 2011, the Health Protection Surveillance Centre added HIV to a notifiable infections list in Ireland. The virus was found to spread more rapidly through the male homosexual population due to the fact that one is 18 times more likely to transmit HIV during anal sex than vaginal intercourse. Those also at risk are intravenous drug users by sharing of used or contaminated syringes. There are three stages of HIV infection. There is acute HIV infection, chronic HIV infection and AIDS, which stands for Acquired Immunodeficiency Syndrome. An acute HIV infection occurs between two and six weeks after contracting the virus and displays flu-like symptoms. It is at this stage that the risk of transmission is at its highest. A chronic HIV infection is the stage that the virus enters a more latent period. The flu-like symptoms cease, but the virus starts to replicate in and destroy T cells. AIDS occurs when someone is not treated for HIV. It is when the T cell count falls below 200 cells per microliter of blood. Illnesses associated with AIDS are Carposi sarcoma skin cancer and pneumocytis pneumonia. Anyone not taking preventative measures while interacting with blood, semen, breast milk, rectal and vaginal fluids from infected individuals can contract HIV. The incidence of HIV infection has risen in Ireland. The incidence rate has increased drastically from 8.2 per 100,000 of population in 2014 to 10.6 per 100,000 of population in 2015. This is an increase of 30%. Since the early 1980s and to the end of 2015, 7,838 people have been diagnosed with HIV in Ireland. HIV can be identified in a host through the indirect enzyme-linked immunoassay. This test detects anti-HIV antibodies present in the host blood or saliva. If the antibody is present, the individual is HIV positive. The Western blot test is used to confirm a positive HIV result. HIV can be treated, but it cannot be cured. This is due to the ability of the virus to mutate rapidly in response to any attempt to destroy the virus. There are treatments available that can extend the lifespan and quality of life of those infected with the virus. Antiretroviral therapy is a treatment for HIV infection. It consists of a number of HIV medications that slows the virus's ability to replicate. This is beneficial to the immune system in that it gives it a chance to fight infections. The main complication associated with HIV infection is a suppressed immune system. This leaves the host more likely to contract a severe secondary infection. The immune system's effectiveness is reduced due to the virus replicating in and destroying CD4 cells. These are the cells that are responsible for identifying and initiating an immune response against an infection. One whose CD4 cell count has dropped below 200 cells per microliter of blood is diagnosed with AIDS. One who has been diagnosed with AIDS is severely immunocompromised and at risk to serious infection. HIV can be spread in a number of ways, unprotected sex, sharing of contaminated needles and from mother to child during birth or breastfeeding. Methods of preventing transmission are practicing safe sex, limiting your sexual partners, 
and not sharing contaminated needles. For those who do not have HIV but feel that they are at high risk of contracting the virus, pre-exposure prophylaxis is available, which is a combination of drugs that when taken daily can dramatically decrease the possibility of infection. In the past number of years, the incidence of HIV infection has risen, but it is not known if this is due to an increase in transmission or an increase in testing and awareness of the infection. Thanks for watching.